Welcome guys to a new video. I'm finally doing a full day of keto eating because I've gotten a lot of requests on this one and decided to finally show you guys um, what I've been eating. So I've been following keto for about one month now. I am by no means any expert on this diet. I'm still experimenting with myself and how this works for me. So if you guys have suggestions or think I'm not doing something right, I am open for your comments and suggestions. I started off my first meal of the day with a bulletproof coffee so I basically put one tablespoon of the grass-fed butter. Um, this one was actually one from Trader Joe's but I switched to another one I got off Amazon which is lactose free. I then put in the coffee and maybe like half a cup of almond milk just to add a bit more volume and make it a little bit creamier. I then do two whole eggs which I do with a tablespoon of coconut oil and that's basically breakfast for me so it's nothing super fancy. I add some different spices from Trader Joe's. They have this everything spice which is super super good so I suggest getting that one. Also the onion one which is really good. Meal two for me is a large salad. If you know me, you know that I love salads. Like I would choose a salad probably over anything, which is kind of sad. Even sometimes burger and fries, because I am like, salads are just my jam. So I basically did two huge heads of romaine lettuce. I prefer iceberg lettuce actually. I'm not a fan of kale and not really spinach. I'll do spinach in my smoothies, but that's about it. But anyways, back to the video. Um, so I chopped up two heads of lettuce. I then add a little bit of tomato. I do half an avocado. I do like one third of a cucumber. Kind of depends on the size of the cucumber. And for dressing, so I have a few different options. I actually just got this one off Primal Kitchen, which is the avocado cream dressing. It's pretty good. Um, it's a little bit mustardy tasting, so if you're not a huge mustard fan, I probably wouldn't recommend it. And then I added some sunflower seeds, and you're gonna see everything in there. So I've been getting a lot of questions on how I feel doing the keto diet and so far um, I would give you guys some of the pros and cons to how my experience has been. Pros is that the food is pretty tasty. Um, I get to add a lot more stuff to my salads which is like a lot, a lot more healthy fats and I'm like loving all the avocado which I haven't really incorporated into my diet a lot before so that is definitely a pro. Um, the salads, I like having huge salads, which is great. Um, one of the cons I find is it's a little bit difficult when you're out and about to try to find meals that work, at least for me, as opposed to just always eating salads or like finding nuts. I'm, I'm trying to stay away from any kind of protein bars just because all the fiber does upset my stomach. So that's what I've kind of been finding a little bit difficult. I'm not really sure if I'm in ketosis or not. I have not been doing any kind of testing. I just got the um, pea sticks, so I'm probably gonna test, but I don't wanna be like crazy about it all. I just, I'm trying to really just feel good. The one thing that I do notice that I do feel really good about is 
um, the mental clarity. I do feel a lot more clear. Um, my thoughts feel a lot more still, so I'm not constantly overthinking like I normally am. So that's great. And other than that, I, I do feel sustainable energy throughout the day. So like normally when I was just eating a lot of carbs and a lot of cereal, by like 2, 3 p.m. I would full on crash. Like I was so exhausted, I would have to have a nap. So now I feel like I have more level energy throughout the day. I do feel, um, when I first get into it, kind of nauseous sometimes, so I guess that's considered the keto flu, um, and I would feel a little bit dizzy, almost like you're car sick, that's kind of what I experience, um, I experience. but I find any time I have some salt or um, like yeah, like a really salty meal, I'll feel better, or even just getting a meal into me, I feel better, so that's one of the other positive, uh, negative things. The other thing I'm finding a little difficult with the keto diet is I'm trying not to fall into any kind of restriction with eating. So obviously because I don't really crave carbs, that's not the hard part, it's more so just having to worry about my vegetable consumption because you can't be having too many vegetables, which I find difficult because I love eating lots of vegetables and before I would eat huge stir fries and I would never be concerned with vegetable content. So that is also a negative thing that I'm experiencing. I don't think I've been doing keto long enough to find any kind of substantial difference in my hormone regulation. Um, apparently your periods either get worse or they can get better. I haven't really found any difference in that. and. My mood has been good, so I haven't seen anything negative. It's supposed to help a lot with like mental health, depression, anxiety. Probably have not been doing it long enough to find a difference in that, but I do notice that my mind is a lot more still and clearer, which I'm really liking. So that is another positive to this whole experimental keto diet. meal for which I decided to do a zucchini dish so I have the zucchini um, spinner here this is Sam's and it's really easy so you basically just spin it, it turns your zucchinis into noodles which is awesome so then we put some cauliflower rice which you can get basically anywhere Trader Joe's Whole Foods I'm not really sure where you can get it in Canada um, I want to say farm boy you can get it in Canada and there are some whole foods in Canada but here they have them at like pretty much every grocery store and then we added some hemp seeds, olive oil and ground turkey to the meal. So again, like I said, this is very new to me. I'm still only about one month into this diet. Um, and I definitely am not an expert. I've read some books and have listened to podcasts, have actually had a lot of guidance from Callie. So other than that, I'm not extremely experienced and I've also not done this for a long time. So I'm not sure if I'm doing things 100% correctly. So I'm sure I'm gonna get comments from people who are saying I'm not doing things correctly and that's fine. But I am open to listening to your suggestions on, on maybe how to make it easier, how to make going into ketosis easier or whatever your suggestions may be and yeah I'm just basically trying to experiment with it and hopefully get the heaps and benefits that I see a lot of people who I have been watching or reading get from this diet and that's kind of where I'm trying to see how it's going but yeah the balance of it all hasn't been too bad I find it extremely easy to follow when I'm eating at home it's just when I'm eating out, out that things can get a little bit trickier but other than that so far I've had a pretty positive experience with this keto diet I'm excited to see how I progress and read more and educate myself more and do a better job at experimenting with it and hopefully gain all the rewards from this diet.
So the last meal I basically was just having something light. So I did some macadamia nuts. I like to do a hot chocolate. So you, a lot of people will do like the turmeric and golden milk. I'll do that some nights, but I felt like doing a hot chocolate. And when I have my BPI supplements, which I don't have, they're coming yet, I'll do the keto bomb with the hot chocolate and it tastes so good. But since I didn't have it, I just did the cocoa powder, a tablespoon of it, almond milk I'll heat up in the microwave or on the stove and basically just blend it all off, add some stevia and it tastes really good. And if you have the keto bomb, it tastes so much better but it is actually got shipped here so I just gotta go get it from the mailbox place and then I can actually incorporate that and that is basically the day for me <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching today's full day of keto eating I hope you guys were able to learn something take something away from it and also give me some suggestions thank you guys so much for watching I hope you like the video and subscribe bye guys